Okay, hi guys, welcome back to another declutter episode. Now this is going to be all of my eyeliners, my liquid eyeshadows, my single pigments and stuff like that. So I'm a bit overwhelmed and I really need to get rid of a lot of this stuff because this is shit that I just don't really use a lot. So I need to kind of narrow down to the things that I do like and I also have a lot of steely glitters, liquid glitters that I need to swatch and make sure that they are still good because I know a lot of them have dried out and I need to pass them on. I also have my eyeliners here and they are wanting to escape, which I'm not going to let them. And I also have a brow pen, which does not belong in here. But basically, I will be keeping all of these because I see no need to really get rid of any of my eyeliners because I use these on a regular basis. So I just wanted to show them to you so that you know how many I have and this is basically it. So yeah, I'll be keeping all of these. And I'm not going to count everything when I'm done now because I mean, there's just too much stuff here. So. I think we should just get into this, so I guess I want to start off by swatching all of my steely glitters to make sure that they are all in decent condition. So this is a new one that I have and I probably don't need to swatch this because, like I said, this is new, but if you want to see it, this is in the shade Psychic. And this is just beautiful, I love this. So we'll definitely be keeping this, and then let's try this one. This is in the shade Diamond Dust, I feel like this one might be on his last leg, but let's find out. Oh no, this one is actually okay. I think the one that I'm thinking of is my gold one, so I'm gonna keep this one as well. So I'm just going to kind of pick them up as I go. This is my Perlina one. I know this one's dried out. Yeah, see that one? Just, just nothing left of this. So this one is going, unfortunately. You guys know I love my Steely Glitter, so it really hurts me to have to part with these because these are expensive and I wish they would just last longer, but they don't, but I still think they're worth the money, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Next up, I have one that I just got, and this is in the shade Mint Myth, and this is just beautiful. I love this. It's just like a duochrome green blue. Oh, it's just, it's so pretty. So that will be staying. Next, let's see what we have here. This is Gypsy. I'm pretty sure this is going to be staying too. It hasn't been that long since I used this in a video. I mean, it is drying out, but it's fine still, so I am going to keep this. I do feel like I probably just don't have that much left in this because I actually go through these because I like them so much. So let's do another one. I'm just going to take all the steel ones and then we'll move into other things. This is Beauty Junkie. I'm pretty sure I'm okay with this one too. Yeah, this one is stunning. Love that. Then we have Fairy Tale, which I'm pretty sure I'm keeping this one as well. I've barely used this and I don't know why because this is so pretty. I just love my Stila glitters so much. I think they're everything. And I don't think I'll ever be parting with any of these until they are dried out and I'm not able to get anything else out of them. So next up, I think this is the one that I have to declutter. This is Gold Goddess. I've used this so much. I've honestly probably used it up. So yeah, you can see, I mean, there's not really much left of this. So I am going to trash this one because that is the only thing that I can really do with this. Uh, let's move on. So we have this one from CAI All That Glitters Eyeshadow. I used this in a video and I did not at all like how this looked on top of other shadows. And like you can see, I hope you can see this, but it's really, it's just very lackluster. So I'm going to get rid of this because I just, I mean, I think this is pretty bad. Next up is a glitter that I got from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. This is one of their glitter wands and it's in the shade... I don't think this even has a name. It's called Money Something, I think. So let's see here. This is kind of a golden green, I guess I would say this is. It's not my favorite formula. I can't honestly say that I love this. But I, th I do think I'm going to keep it because it's very unique to my collection and I don't have a lot of... I don't really have any shades like this and I feel like this could be good as like a glitter cut crease or something so you know I can definitely get some use out of this so I am going to hang on to it and I will probably hang on to most of these glitters unless I really don't like them so this is another one of the glitter ones from Pinky Rose and I like this one a lot more this is a black one with some glitter in it and actually this is kind of looks like it's dried out a little bit so that's honestly not that impressive so maybe I will get rid of this because I feel like this is not really that unique, like, I don't know, I can get the same effect using an eyeshadow, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to, I think I'll get rid of this one. And it looks like I have another steel one hiding that I just did not see. This is Freedom, and I think this is beautiful as well. This is one of their shimmer and glows, and I'm not really the biggest fan of the shimmers, but I can still make this work, and I think the color of this is just beautiful, so... 
for sure going to be keeping this and I I know I'm keeping everything but <laughs> I just love everything so that's basically the end of that so here is one from Flower Beauty I think this is this is one of their warrior glitter eyeshadows and I like this for putting in a cut crease like in my crease I think this is beautiful uh, I did try this on my lid once and it kind of made my eyes burn a little bit so not I mean obviously not a huge fan of this but I can still make this work and I honestly when I use glitter I never put it all over my lids anyway so it's not really a big deal. I just got to make sure I keep this away from my inner corner so I'm going to keep that because I don't have any other gold glitters really now that I declutter the one from Stila so yeah like I said I'm going to keep these. Now I'm, I'm really torn on these because these are from Revlon. Why do you have so many if you don't like them you might ask and I'm like they're so pretty and they were so affordable and the cream side in these are really really nice but I mean I never use cream sides in these so I don't really know why I bought them and also the glitter side is beautiful but the problem with these is that when they dry down they get so cracky and crusty and just very uncomfortable to wear and they also burn a little bit if you put them all over your lids so I do think I'm going to part with these even though this one is so pretty like maybe I could use this see I want to use this in my crease because it's so pretty but I also know it's just going to get really yucky and crusty so I guess I'll get rid of all of these and I kind of wish I didn't buy them like I feel like they serve a purpose if I use them on a very small area of my eye but honestly how often am I going to be doing that really not that often so I'm going to say goodbye to those because I just I never reach for them and they take up so much room so I'm going to get rid of those. Next up I have my pixie glitter in crystalline. I've said before but I'm not the biggest fan of this. I feel like it really disrupts my shadows underneath but it is really pretty to layer in my inner corner so for that reason alone I'm going to keep this but in general I can't say I love this formula but I'm gonna keep it around. This is one that I got from Wonder Beauty. I think I got this in a boxy charm or something like that because this is, this is not something that I would have ever bought, especially this color. So let's take a look here. Yeah, this is not something that I will ever, ever, ever wear. This is just not my thing. So I'm going to see if I can give this to a friend of mine because I don't think I've ever used this on my eyes. And if I have, I've used it on a brush, so it's not really that big of a deal. So I'm going to rehome that one. This one from Morphe came in a set, but a friend of mine gave me the silver one because she didn't want that. She wanted the other ones. I love using this as a glitter cut crease. I know that's how I use a lot of these, but it's just, I don't know, it just adds a bit of an extra pop. So I'm definitely going to keep this. Here's another one that I got from BH Cosmetics. It's one of their eyelids. I've yet to use this, and I think this is more of a cream formula. Yeah, it's definitely a cream formula. So that kind of makes me a bit unhappy because I didn't know that's what that was, and I never use very opaque metallic shadows like this because I don't even know honestly why I don't. I just seem to grab normal shadows instead because it's just easier. But like I said, I haven't used this yet, so I am going to keep this. Now these are interesting. These I got from Octoly. Uh, these are from Anna Sui. And I have played with them even though they're in the packaging, but I wanted to show you guys because... Is it called Anna Sue or Anna Sui? I think it's Anna Sue. Because Anna Sue has the best packaging ever, like everything that she does is just so cute. So this is basically what they look like. They are liquidy eyeshadows, but they're very transparent and they're meant to be toppers. And so what you do is you put on a shadow and then on top of the shadow you put this. And it just adds like this beautiful kind of duochrome shift to it. And it's absolutely stunning. I'm not sure how well you can really see this, but you need to have a shadow underneath for this to really pop. And when you do put it on, like you can see, it's very, very liquidy, so it's not ever going to dry out on you. So I really like this. I've only tried two of them. Let me show you the other two. So here is a purple one. Again, super liquidy. I was very surprised when I got these because I was like, is this supposed to be like this? But it is supposed to be like this. And this one is stunning as well. You can see this one is way more opaque than the other one. So this could definitely be used alone if you wanted to. But again, I would use these on top of shadows because... You can probably see that they're not super opaque, they're a little bit patchy, so I would definitely layer these on top of something. But I'm super grateful that Anastasia wanted to send me these to try out, so here is the last one, and this is in the shade, I forgot to say what they're called, but they're in Japanese or something. But this is just in the shade 1, and here's what this one looks like. I've tried this one on top of a lot of shadows, and it's, I don't know, it's weird, because when you swatch it, it looks like absolutely nothing. 
But when you put them on your eyes, it really transforms whatever you have on your eyes. This beautiful kind of reflectiveness. And it's so weird because I, when I first got these and I swatched them, I was like, what is this? Like, that does not look like it would do much at all. But I actually quite like these. I don't know if I would buy them again with my own money because they are like $30 a piece, I think. But having them, you know, I'm so grateful. And I think these are just the cutest things ever. So of course going to keep all of these because I think they are super cute and I like them and I need to play more with them. Next up I have two shadows from Lime Crime. This is their Diamond Dews, I think these are called. This is in the shade Starlight. And I will be keeping both of these because I think they are beautiful. Oh, it's just so pretty. And this other one is in the shade Tearful, which is a beautiful kind of blue silver, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's just got such a nice reflective base to it. So pretty. I want to say these are very similar to the steel ones. The steel ones are obviously a little bit more glittery, but these are more opaque, but they still have like a sparkle in them. So I really, really like these. So let me clean off my arm and then we can get into some of these pigments. Actually, you know what? I'm going to swatch this one for you as well. This is from Be Elegant and it's a green glitter, more of a dark one. And it also it looks like it's got a little bit of gold in it. I think this is really pretty. I don't remember exactly how I feel about the formula, but the little bits that I've used of this, I really like. I don't think I've ever used it like all over my lid because like I said, I don't really use these kind of glitters for that reason. So I don't know if I would say I recommend this, but I do think it is really pretty. So I'm for sure going to keep this. All right, let's move on now. So I just have like a couple of random eyeliners. I don't know why I kept these in here, but these, this is my NYX one. I have a red and I have a white and I don't like these at all because they just crack on my lid and I can't use more than just tiny little dots of these before they really get crusty and disgusting and I just I don't like the feeling of these so these are going uh, here I have a white liner from the Sephora collection I don't like this at all it's also kind of dirty but I just don't like this so I'm going to get rid of this this is a pen that I got I think this is like a brow highlight or something so we're just getting into like very random stuff right now but this is not something that I would ever ever use I never carve off my brows or highlight my brow bone so I will be giving this to someone else because I feel like it's probably a pretty good product. I don't really know because like I said, I never use anything like this. So maybe someone else will get some use out of this, hopefully. And it looks like I have another liquid shadow here. Like I said, I'm all over the place, but this is from Appeal. I feel like I got this as a gift with purchase from an Ulta order. I've yet to try this. Maybe I should open it. Ooh, that's a very interesting applicator. I did not see that coming. So I guess this is a glitter liner. Wow, that is actually so beautiful. Huh, I was not expecting that. Okay, so this is really pretty. I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> so let's move into some color pop now. I don't have a lot. I have one jelly milk shadow. I have, I think three super shock shadows. I thought I had three. Yeah, there's one here too. So I don't use these a lot, uh, especially these two. I got these in my mystery bag. And I will probably re-gift these because this is just not the kind of color that I ever wear. And the same goes for this one right here. Like, I just don't really... Ah, uh, that's actually kind of pretty. <laughs> Ooh, it gets distracted. Okay, well, you know what? When I put them on like this, it's really not all that. I mean, it's pretty, but this is not the kind of shadow that I reach for either. This kind of reminds me of just like a brown-blue pigment. Just a little bit lighter. So I'm going to re-gift these to make sure that they don't dry out. This right here looks to be a cosmic blue. Is this a glitter? It's from Bella Pierre. I think I got this in a box at some point. Okay, so this is just a very finely milk glitter. I never used this. I'm going to give this away. Here's another one from NYX. I did not like this when I used it. It's called Ice Glace. This is just way too finely milled to really do anything. So I'm going to give this away to someone as well. It's just too messy. I don't, I don't like these messy glitters. Like if I'm going to use a glitter, it's going to be something like this from MAC, which I have hearts and I have little stars. Like these are fun because I can place them where I want them and they're easy to remove and they don't make a mess. So these I'm going to be keeping. I also have a loose glitter here from Glitties. And these are also kind of bigger chunks of glitter. I will say it scares me a bit to use glitters like this because I'm scared I'm going to get them in my eye, especially because there are very small particles in here. But this glitter is so pretty that I feel like I might actually get some use out of this, even if I only use it once or twice. I mean, this thing doesn't really go bad, so I don't feel too bad hanging on to that. 
Next up, I have a glitter from Lemonhead LA, which I have honestly not used as much as I would like. This is one of their glitter pastes, and it's super, super pretty. And I want to start getting more use out of this, but I just don't really know how to use it. So, you know, I'm definitely going to keep this because, like I said, it's beautiful. It's in the shade Adult Film, so I'll be hanging on to this for a while longer. Here, I just have little crystals. I don't even know where I got these. I think I got these on Amazon. Not really sure what I was thinking I was going to do with these, but I mean, they're cute, so I could definitely see myself popping one of those on my face at some point, so I'm gonna keep those. Next up, I have a single shadow from Pat McGrath that I got in one of their holiday sets, I wanna say. This is a blue one. It's absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. Like, oh, that is so pretty. <laughs> it's just not really something that I ever use, though, but I am going to keep it just because I think it's beautiful. Here's an eyeshadow that I got at the flea market with a friend of mine and I thought it was pretty and I've yet to use it for whatever reason but I mean that is stunning like it's not so pretty so I'm gonna actually hang on to this this is from a brand called She and it just says metallic eyeshadow and I don't know if the ingredients are safe at all but well I guess we'll find out because I'm going to keep it. Something that I don't think I'll end up keeping this is also by Pat McGrath this was in the same holiday set and I don't really understand what this is so doesn't really say on it. It says dark matter pigment and I guess it's just a black eyeshadow but let me just swatch this. I feel like I haven't given this a fair chance but it's almost like a cream to powder which just it confuses me because I don't really know how to use it but it looks to be a super creamy black so maybe I should give this another chance. Yeah maybe I'll give this another chance. I mean this was expensive so I might as well keep it and try to use it. Can't promise that I ever will because it's just one of those things that I never reach for. I'm like why can't I just have a black in a palette instead? Okay so let's move on here. I have two pigments that I was actually sent by a lovely subscriber. These are from Kiko and I've honestly yet to use these because it's just hard to bring pigments into my videos, honestly. That's the only reason because I do film every time I do my makeup and usually when I do film it's like a specific palette or a specific certain challenge or something that doesn't like require me to bring in glitters or pigments like this. So unless I do just a specific video based on how to use pigments, which I wouldn't be able to use a video like that because I rarely use pigments, I just never reach for these, which is a shame, so maybe I should do a video where I do dig into my pigments. If you want to see that, let me know, because I do want to try these out, because they look really pretty, especially this pink one. I mean, that's beautiful. That's like a nice neon pink, so I am going to keep these, and if you're watching this, I'm sorry I haven't used them yet, but it's just, it's really hard for me to find an opportunity to use products like this, because it just doesn't really fit in with my videos, so like I said, I'm going to keep these, because I do like them. Uh, next I have two single eyeshadows from MAC, which I don't really know why I bought any of these to be honest. I think I bought this because I didn't feel like I had a green like this in my collection. And I still don't really feel like I have a green like this in my collection, but to be fair, this is not really a very good green. So I think I am going to pass this on. Also because I just never really reach for a single MAC shadow in a compact. I don't really ever reach for anything single in a compact, so I'm going to get rid of this or not like throw it away, but give it to someone else. Here's another one that I have. I really wish I did not buy this. This is one of their extra dimension eyeshadows and it's a purple one. I don't even think I'd use this. Like it's pretty, but I feel like I have way prettier purples in my collection. Like that's not really all that. You know, like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty, but I'm going to give this someone else because I never use this. So here is another single shadow that I got sent to me by my lovely friend Prue from Australia. And I like this a lot. It's just, again, something that I just don't really ever reach for unless I'm doing a specific kind of video. But this is stunning. Like, I just, I think this is so pretty. So I am going to hang on to this because, like I said, I feel like I could find a reason to use this at some point. And these wipes that I'm using, I got for free at IMAS from Ofra. And these are like the worst makeup wipes that I've ever used in my life. So if you see them anywhere, like, do not buy these because these are terrible. Did I even talk about these ColourPop ones? I don't think I did, but this is my Jelly Mud shadow and I'm going to keep this. It's in the shade Into Focus. I'm also going to keep Coconut, which is a Super Shock shadow. This is just a beautiful blue. I don't really reach for it, like I said, but you know, I'm going to keep them. Next up, I have some neon pigments here. These are from Be Elegant. I made a video on these and these are 
<sighs> Probably the most trouble that I've ever had trying to work with any kind of eyeshadows because I could not get these to work for the life of me. Like they just did not want to stick to my eye, they didn't want to blend, they didn't want to do anything so I am going to declutter all of these. It's almost like I don't even want to try to give them away to anyone because I feel sorry for them if they want to try to work with these but these are just awful. So yeah, these are for sure going, it's not even a question. So next up here I have a bunch of glitters from Too Faced that I bought from one of their holiday sets a long time ago. And I have not really used any of these, but I remember this one being absolutely stunning. I did use this one, this is called Wrapped in Pink. This is a kind of gold and black glitter I think, maybe I'll try to open this. I'll probably make the biggest mess and regret my life, but let's see what this looks like. Ooh, so that is so pretty. Oh my god, I wonder if I could use this with some kind of a mixing medium. I'm gonna keep these because, I, I don't know, I feel like there's no reason for me to really get rid of these because they're so small and there might be a time where I feel like bringing these out and then it would be nice to have the option to. I can definitely find a place to store these, so I'm going to keep those. Next I have some pigments from, what is this, Ammo Cosmetics. I bought these before I started my channel and why, I don't really know. I think this was like my way to start getting into indie brands. And I do want to try these because I've just never really took in, took in the time. I've really, what do, what do I even say? I've never taken the time, that's it, right? I've never taken the time to actually use these. But a lot of them are really pretty. Some of them are matte though, so that's kind of weird. I don't really know why I bought these. Also have a sample of something here. So maybe I'll do a video where I play with some pigments and just try to, ooh, that looks so pretty, and try to figure some of these out because I do kind of want to try to use these. And this is the last one. Yeah, they all look really, really pretty. So let me know if you want a video of me actually using some pigments and I will happily do so because I do want to test these out. So I'm going to keep all of these. This thing, however, is from Wet n Wild and it's a pressed glitter and I just, I'm not interested. So that one's going. These two from Pat McGrath really confuses me because I don't get it. <laughs> These all came in the same pack as the other things that I talked about that was from Pat McGrath and this is Astral White Pigment and basically it's just pure glitter. And I don't know if this is supposed to be a topper or a highlighter or what exactly this is, but like obviously it's really pretty, it's beautiful, so I guess I will keep this. How am I supposed to use it? I have no idea. Maybe it's supposed to be a highlighter. I really don't know. So this one is also from that same set, like I said, and I think this is just a gold eyeshadow. Like this is for sure not something that I ever reach for. So I am going to give this away because I feel like someone might use this, you know, because I know I won't. So I might as well give it a chance and give it to someone else. So here's a pigment that I have from MAC and this is, what is this called? Violet. Oh, that's kind of self-explanatory, I think. And then I also have a green one from MAC. I have used this and I used this with some setting spray and I foiled it and it looked so beautiful. So I'm definitely going to keep both of these. I don't really know why I have this. I feel like I got this in a box as well because I don't really ever buy pigments. So I feel like I got both of these for free at some point. So going to keep these. So I kind of feel like I should not have had this drawer here the whole time because that's kind of distracting. I'm so sorry about that and it's still probably distracting, but these are some cream shadows that I have from Sydney Grace that I've honestly not used uh, because I, I don't know, I'm so bad at pulling out things like this because like I've said before, it just doesn't really fit into my videos, especially when I'm working on like certain palettes and stuff. It's really hard to pull in items like this and since I never really film like just tutorials because I don't like doing that, I just never have the opportunity to play with something like this. But these are so pretty, like look at that. I have yet to use any of them on my eyes and I would love to. So, okay, so I'm definitely keeping these. And then I have here an eye gloss from Pat McGrath. <laughs> Again, from the same set. I really don't know why I bought that set. Um, I've never used this. I don't think I ever will use an eye gloss because I don't really do editorial looks. Or I never do my makeup just to take a picture of my makeup is what I'm trying to say. So, I mean, I'll keep it because why not have a gloss in my collection, you know, so. Next up we just have a plain white eyeshadow. This is from the Ulta collection. I don't think this is very good. I have better whites in my collection now, so I'm going to declutter that. And lastly we have the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat. I think this is stunning. 
like I don't know if I have any fingers so I don't have anything on right now but this is just so beautiful like I love that that is so shiny and nice so I'm going to keep this as well so I didn't do like that good I don't think decluttering this one but these are the items that I got rid of like I said I'm not going to count these because there's just too many things right <laughs> I can't really be bothered but basically here are the things that I'm getting rid of here are the things that I'm keeping so I probably got rid of like I don't know, 25% of the stuff, so I don't think that's too bad. So yeah, that will sum up this miscellaneous, I guess, declutter. I don't really know what I'm going to name this, but I'll figure out a name for it eventually. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I guess the next one is going to be my eyeshadow palette declutter, if I'm not mistaken. So I hope you're looking forward to that. I don't think I'll be decluttering a whole lot of my eyeshadow palettes because they are my true love and I love most of them, but there's definitely going to be a few that will be getting thrown out because I just don't use them. So. Thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.